How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to quickly talk a little bit about the difference between uh, VPNs and proxies, just a few basics here and there, and how they differ. So let's start with the first point. So the first thing I want to talk about is encryption. Now, the biggest benefit of a VPN over a proxy server is the fact that it encrypts your data. With VPN enabled, your browsing and any data you send or receive will be encrypted. And this is important. It means that hackers, government agencies, businesses, or anyone else won't be able to see what you're doing online. Say you access your online bank account while using a VPN. Because your information is encrypted with a VPN, hackers won't be able to access your bank account numbers. The same is true if you log on to your credit card provider's online portal. Because your data is encrypted, criminals won't be able to snag your credit card number or the password you use to log on to the portal. The second thing is that VPN providers promote online privacy. If you want total privacy, work with a VPN provider that has a no locks policy. Now, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs that have a strict no locks policy with high performance and great security features. Overall, I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark. They all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN. Express is going to be the best of the best and most reliable and consistent overall. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. And Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. And they all do have a no logs policy, by the way. No log means the providers pledge not to track and store your activity while you're using the service to connect to the internet. And this means that these providers won't have any data to give to anyone else who wants information about what sites you browse or files you share. On the other hand, a free proxy may monitor traffic and sell data to third parties. And I wouldn't really recommend paying for a proxy. If you're going to pay, you might as well get yourself a VPN and just encrypt your data. It'll be much safer. Okay, the third thing is free proxy connections can be slower. Both proxy servers and VPNs can slow down your browsing depending on how many users are accessing the services. Free proxy connections, however, can be slower and less secure because of less support, less configuration options, and slower infrastructure. Okay, and the fourth difference is that VPNs tend to cost a little bit more. Now you can connect through free VPNs. However, I would not recommend using free VPNs because free VPNs tend to sell information in order to maintain the free service. And I really wouldn't recommend doing that because a free VPN will pretty much log your data for marketing purposes so that they can sell it to third party companies. And that is definitely not a wise thing to do unless you want to get a lot of spam emails and potentially leak your personal data. Um, yeah, this is definitely not something you want to do. So if you're looking to secure your data on public Wi-Fi or if you're simply looking to, you know, access services that may not otherwise be available to you, such as streaming services, um, maybe websites that are exclusive to specific countries and whatnot or bank accounts then a VPN is definitely the best option instead of a free VPN or a proxy server. So do you really need a proxy if you have a VPN? Well, both do mask your IP address, but a VPN will also encrypt the data you send and receive, something that a proxy server just doesn't do. So if you're already using a VPN, then connecting to a proxy server is very unnecessary. So which one should you use? Now, if you want to hide your IP address, using either a proxy server or VPN will work. And if you're worried about browsing speed and you're only worried about hiding your IP address from a single site or application, then a free proxy server will do the job, especially if you don't want to pay anything and if cost is an issue. But if you want to keep your browsing activity hidden from snoops, logging onto the internet through a VPN is the better choice, especially if you're on public Wi-Fi. I definitely would not recommend connecting to public Wi-Fi without the use of a VPN, unless you're willing to compromise your data, especially if you have any um, financial or sensitive information on your device, definitely use a VPN and a reliable one at that before you connect to a public Wi-Fi. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs, or if you'd like to jump straight to pricing and discounts, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.